Good day. This is Bob speaking to you from my farm at in the Annapolis Valley of Nova Scotia. I'm back here today with part six of my blue nose build from scratch. Uh, it's been a, a bit of a challenge in the last while. It's probably been a month and a half since I've uh, put a video up. Main reason being that I'm working in my uh, what we call our sunroom here and uh, I've been making a mess to tell you the truth and I hate to clean it up and uh, I decided to abandon the project until the weather got good enough outside that I could get into my shop. Now there's still a few uh, days that, that I can't work because the glue won't harden in cold weather and, and it's been a long uh, rather trying spring but I did get some done and as I said in my last video I would uh, come back after I got the, the deck planked and uh, a part at least of the side rails up uh, so you can see I hope there that uh, I have accomplished a little bit uh, I learned a few things as I was doing this and uh, I'll share those with you. Uh, I guess the most important uh, caution I guess that, that uh, I give myself is don't use a lot of clamping pressure. I uh, had a hard time getting the back on here at the transom on and uh, I, I wanted to get it done in one one step so I decided to use spring clamps this kind of thing here uh, not that big mind you but still a pretty strong clamp <clears throat> so I, I had it all together as you see it here going around uh, that, that back rail and uh, moved away from the workbench to do another job and I heard a snap <laughs> well the spring clamp released and I saw the boat pitch poling off the workbench onto the floor and of course it broke out all that I had put in in there in the back at the transom and also broke <coughs> excuse me also broke apart of, off the front when it hit so I've, I've learned to try to use less clamping pressure <coughs> don't know how much more I'm going to talk here that might be a good thing uh, you know what I did was a few years ago I built a canoe a wood strip canoe and uh, it was planked with a quarter inch by uh, three quarter inch strips so I could use a lot of spring clamps to hold that stuff in place what I've been trying to do is use those same clamps to do this model wow that did not going to work uh, I'm, I'm bending things. Uh, I'm getting them out of place. Uh, the boards are, are the boards are tipping, you know. So I have to sand them down a lot. Uh, just not worth it. I have to try to figure out, especially before I plank the hull, uh, a different way of clamping because, boy, those spring clamps just aren't going to work. Uh, additionally, I learned. Uh, uh, perhaps not to use boards that are as thick as you see here. Uh, I, I wanted to get it done quickly and uh, it, it wasn't worth it. And, and that was what caused the, uh, another spring clamp problem. I had to push those, those boards in place with just too much force. Had I used uh, 1 8 inch uh, planking I, I don't think I would have had nearly the problem. Uh, notice my studs along here I got all those in uh, made a little jig so that uh, I made sure they were all the same height or just about the same height I don't know if you can see my cat going by there or not um, and uh, you know the, the, the two rails I had to put two boards in there because I've got to put what they call the scuppers in and the scuppers go between the two boards there's just little holes going through there and that makes them above the deck and, and what they're for is to let the water out if a, a wave breaks over the boat that water has to go somewhere it can't lay on the deck 
so it goes up through the, the scuppers and they're, 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 they're positioned all the way along here like this going right straight through uh, on both sides so I haven't got that done uh, I'll have that done by next time so this is where I am uh, making some progress learning a whole lot and uh, I, I'm hoping that passing some of this stuff on to you guys will will help if you happen to to do a blue nose project or a, any model building project because I think what I'm learning can be applied to almost anything I notice when I look across it like that I've got a high spot right here um, I'm not sure how that got there I'm gonna have to sand that down and uh, make sure I get them equal so when I come back next time what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to have the uh, the rails on the top they, they sit right along here I have to glue them to to this uh, hull plank and glue to each one of those studs the top of each one of those studs and it just lays across here and joins up nice neat and tidy at the bow Again, the back is a little bit difficult because it's got a special rail. I think it's called a monkey rail. It's quite wide, a lot wider than the rail that runs along here. And uh, they didn't give me a very good picture of it, so I I'm going to have to trace it uh, and, and, and just try to fit it in, go, you know, kind of worry it to the right size. So that's where I am with my blue nose build. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, uh, a little frustrating by times, but I I'm pleased with most of it. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day and good model building.